I'm Carla. And I'm Ariana. And welcome to Fireside Chat. This week we'll be doing the announcements and the importance of the high school student sleeping schedules. Here I'm going to be telling you the weekly announcements. Monday, April 11th, girls golf is at Burlington at 3.15. Boys golf is here at 4 p.m. Boys soccer is here at 4.30. Boys tennis is at Notre Dame at 4.30. Girls soccer is at Fort Madison, 4.30. School board meeting is 6 p.m. Tuesday, April 12th, we have girls golf is here at 4 p.m. and girls track is at Fort Madison at 4.30 p.m. Wednesday, April 13th, all we have is boys golf at Burlington at 4.30 p.m. Thursday, April 14th, um, boys golf is at Fort Madison, 4 p.m. Girls soccer is here at 4.30 p.m. Girls tennis is also here at 4.30 p.m. Boys tennis is at Fairfield at 4.30 p.m. Girls track is at Tipton, 4.30 p.m. Boys soccer is at Keokuk, 5 p.m. And boys track is here at 5 p.m. Thursday, April 14th, boys golf is at Fort Madison, 4 o'clock. Girls soccer and girls tennis are both here, 4 p.m. Um, boys tennis is at Fairfield, uh, 4.30. Boys soccer is at Keokuk, 5 p.m. Um, girls track is at Tipton, 4.30. And boys track is here at 5 p.m. Hi, I'm Anna. And I'm Calista. And we're going to talk about a couple pointers on students and their sleeping schedules, like pros, cons, things like that. OK, delayed starts. You're a freshman, so you weren't here for delayed starts. But how do you feel about them? I liked them because we did have them at the middle school, which was always good. But I mean, having the Monday, which was awesome. Would you like go back to delayed starts from early on? Or? We'll see, because I like both. I like the fact that we had the delayed, because, you know, like, Monday, the start of the week, you know, we get to, like, sleep in. But I really like the extra, like, the early out on Friday, because, you know, like, it makes us feel like we have a longer weekend, even though we really don't. Yeah, I like, I like delayed starts. I, uh, I'm not a morning person, but when I do have a morning, I really like to appreciate it. But, like, I got a lot more sleep, and I could focus in class. And there's a lot of studies that show the brain doesn't, receive information properly until like 10 in the morning so starting class early doesn't really make sense anyway that's true and i definitely agree on that with the fact that like we'd get to start later homework and everything we'd have the chance to either sleep in get your homework done and those students get who kinda... are like behind on homework they're like oh i can do it all of my delayed starts <laughs> i got this guys <laughs> yeah nice like the effects on sleep there's some people who they're probably their like family situation, they don't get enough sleep, and that can really affect their grades. Which I would understand that, just having the full sleep. Because I mean, like you have first a second hour, and if you didn't get to sleep until midnight, I mean, you're dead. And when you get like no sleep, and you don't get enough sleep, it can really affect your attitude towards how you want to learn, especially when you don't find anything important. And yeah. Definitely, especially when you don't get the, like, you're sleeping during class, so you don't pay attention, and that's going to affect every other day after that, leading up to your test. Yeah. All right, so that's it for this week's announcements. Thank you for watching. This is Carla and Ariana. So yeah, have a good weekend, you guys. See you next week. Homework. Bathroom. Ah. Here it is. Thank you. Oh, aren't you handing back our tests today? Bathroom. Ah.